हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इशू द इशू इज दैट इफ द सी आई टी अपील वाइल पासिंग एन अपीलेट ऑर्डर एंड इफ द सी आई टी अपील डज नॉट फॉलो द सर्कुलर देन वेदर इट कैन बी हेल्ड दैट द सी आई टी अपील इज चैलेंजिंग द वायरस ऑफ दैट सर्कुलर दिस इशू हैज बीन डिसाइडेड इन द केस ऑफ डिप्टी कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स वर्सेज अनिल कुमार जैन एंड द इशू हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन वन जीरो एट आई टी आर ट्रिब्यूनल शॉर्ट नोट फोर्टी वन द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाई चंडीगढ़ आई टी आई टी ए बेंच एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज सिक्सटींथ नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी Order under Section 143, Subsection 1, that is in the form of intimation, was passed, and an addition of rupees 2931 rupees was made on behalf of late deposit of ESI. The assessee filed appeal before the CIT appeal. The plea of the assessee was that the ESI has been deposited before the due date. The CIT appeal gave relief to the assessee by taking the help of various decisions which were decided in favor of the assessee but this decision was before the checkmate decision because in the checkmate decision now the situation is very clear that if the employee share of esi and pf has not been deposited before the due date of depositing those dues under those acts then even if those dues have been deposited before the due date of filing the return it will not affect the disallowance and the disallowance will be there but the issue in this case was a little bit different because the cit appeal gave relief and there is a circular of uh, central board of direct taxes that is circular number 22 which was issued in 2015 dated 17th december 2015 which talks about of 43b deductions the department took this decision of the cit appeal as a decision which has been passed as an ultra virus of the circular it was the plea of the department or the revenue that the cit appeal has given the decision in favor of the assessee by challenging the virus of the circular but in actual the issue was that the depart the cit appeal has not followed the circular so whether not following the circular can tend to amount to challenging the ultra virus of the circular first of all in this respect a very important issue is there that the circulars are binding on the officers but the circulars are not binding on the cit appeal so cit appeal was not bound to follow the circular so if cit appeal gives some decision by not following the circular then it cannot be held as that the cit appeal is challenging the virus of the circular so when the department filed the appeal before the itat without considering or without taking into consideration the monetary limits because in this case the addition amount was only 2931 rupees so as far as the monetary limits according to section 260a is concerned Uh, this appeal was not appealable as per the monetary limits but the department said that the revenue said that in this case the para 10b which is uh, which carves about an exception in the circular number 3 of 2018 for filing the appeals by the department then according to that para 10b of circular number 3 of 2018 the department is not able to file this appeal because that circular talks about a situation where the cit appeal is challenging the ultra virus of the circular and not going against the circular because the circulars are not binding on the cit appeal so friends in this case itat dismissed the appeal of the department on the ground of low tax effect and the submission of the revenue that it is covered by the exception which is given in para 10b of circular number 3 of 2018 it does not hold good in the eyes of the law so in the nutshell it can be said that 
if the CIT appeal is not following the circular, then it cannot tend amount to challenging the virus of the circular. At the end of this video, once again, I am repeating the name of the case. The name of the case is Deputy Commissioner of Income Tax versus Anil Kumar Jain. And this case has been reported in 108 ITR Tribunal, short note 41. The matter has been decided by Chandigarh ITAT A bench and the date of the judgment is 16th November 2023. Thank you friends.